This is Antoinette, one of our dear patients. We're using the Weber Medical Laser Helmet. It's a very interesting technology that allows for certain frequencies of red laser and infrared laser to go across the cranium and into the cerebral matter uh, with photoimmune biomodulation and looking at the cell um, reactivity and neurogenesis, neuroplasticity, etc. And I just wanted to explain to you a little bit about how we use this laser helmet in our practice and the success we've been having. So for this patient, we're using it in post-chemotherapy. We call it post-chemotherapy courage brain where your mood's a little bit low and you feel that memory recall is not as good, uh, concentration levels are obviously often reduced and your brain fatigues quite easily. So what this does is it just helps stimulate um, neuronal activity at a cellular level through the mitochondrial activity and, uh, and various other factors, and photoimmune biomodulation, reducing inflammation around different areas of the body, and also useful for post-radiation where there's inflammation. But certainly uh, we find a huge effect in the overall system of the brain and how it functions. So we've looked at brain waves and seen that the theta ratio is greatly enhanced, which means that the brain is adaptable and can respond to new ideas and thoughts and problem solving. We also find that it reduces delta wave interference, whilst also reducing the low beta wave signals, which are for stress response. What this means is you have a more parasympathetic, a more relaxed uh, rest and digest element of the brain where we find in deep sleep states or in meditative states or sometimes in uh, just states where we feel in love or really relaxed. Now often when you have trauma, and whether it's Alzheimer's or brain trauma itself from traumatic injury or diffuse external injury, or if you have Parkinson's or some other neurodegenerative disorder, or just an insult on the brain, uh, a post-stroke, too many medications, brain radiation, something like that, uh, or severe burnout and corporate stress, we find that the, the system of the brain goes into a flight or fight, the neuroexcitotoxicity neuro is enhanced in the brain, the, uh, the, the regulation of the whole system, the right to left integration of logic and creativity and impulsivity, all of those have an effect on, on how you perform uh, certain executive functions, how your cognitive levels are able to sustain, in, uh, sustain themselves, how you're able to have better memory recall, all those things are greatly reduced when we just enhance the, the sort of rest or digest parasympathetic state. Um, on top of that, we use neurotropics and certain botanical isolates to modify the inflammation within the brain and, uh, and certainly stimulate more neurogenesis and neuroplasticity. And uh, we have definitely found that patients feel much better after around four or five sessions and significantly enhanced adaptability, reduced anxiety levels and uh, enhanced memory recall and cognitive function. Um, I think that after the first two or three sessions, Antoinette, you, you're certainly going to feel very tired. Uh, we recommend you sleeping for three or four hours after uh, the sessions on the first two or three times, and after that, you will, you will get quite used to it. Uh, the brain also gets tired when it trains. Okay, thank you very much.